Hey guys, it's Ani. Um, in today's video, I will be sharing um, some tips and tricks about manifesting more, um, a better version of your specific person and also more money and financial abundance. Um, it could be jobs, it could be opportunities, it could be just mula. <laughs> um so if you guys are interested stay tuned until the end and i want to share with you you guys probably already know this if you've been watching my videos but you know that i like to um go to to the casino with family and like i always win a lot of money and i've shared a lot of the jackpot wins with you guys um and the one i'm going to share today i don't i don't think i've shared it um yet but I want to share something with you that I saw the other day. So a little backstory, me and my dad, we love to play poker, especially him. Honestly, the reason I even like it is because when I was a little girl, like I would literally watch him um, play like at the house or he would watch all these uh, poker tournaments and I would literally like be stuck to him like glue and watch because I was like I want to learn and I want to make my dad proud like I want him to see that I'm a good player as well you know when you're your kid um you think that way but um so the other day the tradition has still stayed the same we still like play poker together we still go and watch the tournaments and all that and on TV, we were watching um, this World Series of Poker, and we we were like um, listening to the interviewer ask questions to the champion. And this guy was like a six-time world champion. And these World Series, I don't know if you guys are aware, but like it's literally there's probably like hundreds and thousands of. Um, players signing up to get to that final table and to win and the grand prize is like a championship bracelet and there's millions and millions of dollars to be won at first place um so they were interviewing the the champion and they were like what do you do to like prep prep yourself for for this process like the the going through the every level every table to get to the final table and then eventually win right and he was like well what i've been doing for the last few years is i took he's like many many years ago he, he's like i took my picture and i took a picture of a champion a poker champion and the picture was like the champion sitting in front of all this money and the, his wins and the bracelet and everything and he took his face and he glued it on that champion's face so it looked like as though it's him right and it's kind of like a vision board you guys have probably seen like people make vision boards or you probably have made vision boards before but i thought it was so cool like when he said that i was like this guy knows this guy knows his thoughts create this guy knows that envisioning himself as a winner prior to winning creates the win like he just knows and i once i heard that interview i was like i need to share it with you guys because that is literally the secret to you getting what you want it's you prepping yourself as a winner as a person that gets what they want it's literally you telling yourself i get what i want my thoughts create i'm the only with i'm the only one with free will in my reality and people do it all the time successful people are doing this all the time and some of them may not know that it's because their thoughts create that it's just like affirmations that make them feel good but i just thought it was so interesting that like a six time world champion did that it wasn't so much about the skill because you do need skill in in poker you need to know how to read players there's a lot of bluffing going on there's like million dollar pots at at stake and it's so funny because 
there are, if you watch him play, there are more skilled players than him at the table, but it, he just keeps winning because circumstances don't matter. You guys, circumstances do not matter. And um, it's funny too, because like when me and my dad go and play poker, I'm, I don't want him to hear this, but like when me and my dad go and play poker, like this, this man has like 20, 30 years of experience playing poker on me and I win bigger jackpots than him. Like I win stupid, like stupid hands. I win them. Hands that he wouldn't, he wouldn't even play. And like, I hit the biggest jackpots and he's always like, yeah, this is my girl. That's why. And I'm thinking, uh, no, it's because, because my thoughts create like that's why. <laughs> but, um, I don't want to make this about poker, you guys, but I just, the reason I'm telling you all this is because like, I want you guys to understand that you do not have to be the best. You do not have to be the most successful, the hottest. Like, none of that matters. It's all what's in here. It is all what is in your mind. If you think your specific person is not going to choose you because blank, 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 guess what? Your specific person will literally tell you, I don't want you because blank, blank, blank. They may tell you, they may not tell you, but you have to see yourself as chosen, priority, wanted. You must see yourself as the person you desire prior to it happening because everything is a thought first. Everything, you guys, look around you. Everything you see around you was once someone's thought, someone's imagination. And they had the, they may have had the thought, the plans, the, um, the imagination, but they might have not had the resources, right? But the reason they eventually got the resources to create what's in their mind is because the um, evidence came in. The thought was there and the evidence came to support it, right? And it's always like that. Like, like for example, you may... Um, or let me put it this way. Like, for example, like I see myself as a winner when I go to the casino or when I go play poker, right? So what happens is my cards open up. The cards that the dealer opens are there to support me. I don't care if someone has the highest card on the table or, or the best hand. In my mind, as the game is going, I'm like, I'm a winner. It's done. Like, I'm a winner. I always... I love how much I win the game. Like everyone's always like, oh my God, how did you do it? How is it that your cards always open up at the table? It's because of this. It's because of this. Because I know if I put it in here, everything around me has to support my thoughts. And I want you guys to make this a thing, like a habit. Write it down. If it's in my mind, if I focus on it, everything in my universe will show me evidence to support my desired thought. You are always supported. Your thoughts are always supported. If you think you're not chosen by your SP, your reality will support you and prove to you that your SP will not choose you. If you think you are chosen by your SP, I don't care if SP has 15 third parties, all of them will remove themselves and go find other people to be happy with just so your reality supports your thought about you and your SP. Does that make sense? If that makes sense, comment down below. And um, recently one of my clients and it's just, it's not this, just this recent client, like so many clients of mine, you guys, if you guys watch my videos, you'll see all those success stories. Um, she got, uh, my manifest your SP now and manifest money and abundance now of course. And she got her SP to literally text her every day with, I miss you. I love you. I made the I made the worst mistake moving out. All I want to do is come back and be with you. And this is someone that literally was just like we can never be together to her. He would always say that to her. And she felt like that's it. It's never going to happen. I'm never going to get my SP back. And she was going for a really really like high profile position like in a billion dollar company and there were so many applicants and she got it so it was 
it was worth putting in the work for the money and abundance and the manifest your SP now. It's so worth that you guys, all it takes, and I know you guys are probably watching this and like, oh, I've tried it, it doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. Persistence is your friend, okay? Like all these jackpot wins you see that I share with you, all these stories about my SP coming in in a better version or my client's SPs coming in in a better version, that didn't come overnight. That didn't, like, that didn't just happen. Like I didn't just go to the casino and just like all of a sudden win and be like, oh my God, yes, I'm a winner all the time. Nope. There was a lot of days where like circumstances were against me, I felt even with SP, like SP, there there were so many times where SP was like, it's not ever gonna work out, you know? And that's, that's where you persist. The only reason you even get that type of evidence from your life is because you've held a story that doesn't serve you. Remember in my last video, if you guys haven't watched it, please do. It's a long video. It's almost, it's kind of like a course even. <laughs> like I share so much good information i do it in all of my videos because that i care about you guys just understanding the information and applying it but in my last video i shared that like your 3d is not live like what you see right now happening around you that is not live that is your old thoughts playing out so you have to you have to understand that right now is not now it's not live your present moment is not the present. Your present moment is your old thoughts that manifested out. So if you're experiencing circumstances that don't work in your favor, that is okay. That is okay because what you do now, how you think now will show up in your tomorrow, in your next week, in your next month, in your next year. Okay, you just have to persist. And why do we persist? Because again, in my last video, I don't know if you saw, but like that water um, example, the, the cup example, you persist because you have filled your subconscious mind with the undesired story. And now like the undesired story is heavier. So we want to make the desired story heavier now. And the only way you can do that is persist. The only way you can do that is every time you get like thoughts or things that don't serve you, you go in with, nope, I'm still going to get what I want. I'm still going to get what I want. I'm still going to get what I want because what I say to myself and what I say in here pushes out. It always pushes, it always pushes, it put, ugh, I can't even talk. It always pushes itself out, you guys. And if you don't trust it, try it. Do not take my word for it. Do not take all these success stories as an example, don't take anything. Try it out, please. Because I know I'm, I, that's how I learn. Like, like even when I have clients, like I have specific exercises I have them do to get what they want specifically according to their story that they have um, about their SP or about, because unless, if I don't feel it on my own skin, I don't care if Jesus comes down and tells me what to do listening doesn't just it's not just about listening for me I need to apply it I need to apply it and see it for myself and if you guys are like that too comment down below that's why I say you guys need to try this out start manifesting specific things with specific people and it doesn't have to be just SP most of the time if you're having trouble with SP it's because you guys have probably um, a really deep set story and you just don't believe that things can happen quick with SP. But things that you don't care about will keep showing up quickly, 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 quickly. And you'll get to a point where you're like, okay, I can't really doubt this anymore because it just keeps happening. What I said keeps happening. What I thought keeps happening. So there's no rule that says, oh, it's not going to work on your SP or it's not going to work on money, right? There's no such rule. There's no such judgment that says you can get what you want in the little lists of things that you manifest, but not with SP and um, money. No way. That's why I want you guys to try it. Try, 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 try. Practice. 
practice, practice, practice. Um, also a tip, you guys, if you're manifesting more money in, um, this doesn't just apply for money. This applies for a specific person as well. Do not view things in your life as material. Do not view people as solid and do not view money as a material or a solid thing because it is not. It is everything is energy. Everything is energy and they're all little cells vibrating around you that look like things and um, they're listening to you. So the energy around you, the people around you, the things, the money, the materials, the cars, the Lamborghinis, the mansions, the lottery tickets, they are all listening to you. Um, I'll tell you a very important story in a bit, but the moment you start viewing things just as energy and as things, they're like receptive to your thought. Every, the whole game changes. Things come in quicker. So you may see your specific person as a human being. They look like a human being. They have their own body, their own brain, their own thoughts. They have their own opinions, but they are just an actor in your movie. And it's, it's kind of like weird to say that, but you'll only prove that to yourself if you apply the apply the teachings. So start thinking about what role you gave to each person in your life. So you gave your specific person a role. He, they are an actor in your movie. You gave them a role and you wrote out a script. And what does that script look like? So that script has a bunch of characteristics about this person. That script has a bunch of what is this person capable? It has all of it, right? So like, for example, you've seen me do this in a lot of my videos, but like you literally took down in your subconscious, you took note in your subconscious, like it recorded you viewing your specific person saying, hmm, they have a tendency to lie. They have a tendency to cheat. They have a tendency to be shady, right? And your subconscious is like, oh, cool. All right, whatever. The God of your reality, that's none of my business. You know, you said they do. So we will prove it to you that they do. So we will keep pushing out that type of behavior within that person, okay? So it, go, it goes the same way it's the same for the opposite. This person has a tendency to love and adore me. This person has a tendency to be loyal, faithful, honest, to pursue me, to take me out to dinners every night, to be romantic with me, to be sensitive towards my feelings. Your subconscious takes it in. Like, oh, okay, cool. We're going to push that out for you. Even if we haven't pushed that out before, we're going to push it out now because that's the story you're persisting. That's the info I keep getting. So I'm gonna push it out for you more and more and more and more. Does that make sense, you guys? If that makes sense, comment down below. I, got, I want you guys to know, like, these videos of mine, I never, like, everything is just, like, um, live. Like, I don't write down what I'm gonna talk about and I don't, have like um, specific stories I'm gonna share. I just say what comes to mind. And so far it's been helping hundreds and thousands of you. So I'm not gonna change anything. Um, but it may seem like I'm like going all over the place. So sorry about that. But so again, we are not going to view people and money or opportunities as solid things anymore. They are all little atoms listening to you behaving in um ways to match your assumptions okay and there's more information about this topic it's called the double slit theory um it it's a scientific experiment i don't think it's a theory anymore it's actually it's like a proof it's been proven that atoms react to how you perceive them to be and the moment you change your mind, the atoms around you start changing to match how you perceive things to be. So 
a story I'll share with you guys. And this is this has nothing to do with money or a specific person. Well, it kind of does because everything is cells and atoms just listening to you. But um, so my dad, many, many, many videos ago back in February, the end of January, early February this year, um, I made a video about my dad having COVID um, and pneumonia and he ended up in the hospital for like 10 days and um, I would talk to, I couldn't go visit him because of the COVID restrictions. So I was so anxious and literally like crying all the time. I felt so helpless. I thought I was, it, it, it wasn't going to be good because I would talk to the nurses, I would talk to the doctor and the doctor would just be like, his condition's getting worse. Um, it's not getting better. And he needs more and more support, like oxygen support. He can't really um, breathe like normally on his own, okay? And that was such a crucial moment for me in my like manifesting journey. I was like, you know what? Screw what anyone says. Like, I don't care if the doctor's telling me it's getting worse. I don't care if the nurse is telling me it's getting worse. Like, this is my best friend and I'm not taking, no, for, like, I'm not going to take what their opinion. I'm going to say what's going to happen. I'm going to affirm what's going to happen. And he's going to come. He's going to come. I'm going to go pick him up from the hospital and he's going to come home and he's going to be healthy and we're going to laugh about this. Okay. One day. So circumstances were against me circumstances were against him right and i remembered this law i remembered the double slit theory i remembered how cells and atoms are um reacting to our thoughts so i started thinking okay if my SP doesn't have free will and I am manifesting my SP in like crazy and everything's so good, if money's coming in, the jackpots are coming in, everything's coming in because everything listens to me, right? If all my clients are this successful and my intentions are working and their intentions are working and everything is just listening to me, and his body and his cells and his health is also listening to me. They're all atoms and cells, right? So I started affirming. I started affirming, like, I'm so happy he's home. I'm so happy. Um, I'm actually telling him that I was affirming for him to be home, that I was intending that intentions work. I was going 10 steps ahead. I would even breathe for him. I would breathe for him because he's me pushed out. I would breathe for him and I would be like, the oxygen levels are increasing. He does not need any more of the help. He's able to do it on his own. And for a few days, there was no change. And I was like, I was doing the work, but I was still like crying about it. I was like, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to keep going. Cells listen to me. The atoms listen to me. Everything in my reality is listening to me. None of this matters. None of it ma No one's opinion matters. No one else's thought matters. No circumstance matters. Just me, what I think. And I'm saying this to you guys because I want you to apply this in every part of your life. Money, boss, relationships, SP, third parties. I, I hope you guys get the point. Um, so guess what happened? After a few days, after me going 10 steps ahead, not worrying about the middle, 10 steps ahead. Hey, sometimes I didn't even trust that it would work. You know, it's, it's his life. You know what I mean? Um, but I knew that this is law. Law of assumption is law. It's a universal law. Your thoughts create. Did I believe it? No. Because I would hear other things in my reality that would shake me. And the only thing I could do is go back and envision what I want, envision how it's going to be. How do I want this to turn out? What do I want it to be, right? Um, and a few days later, 
they called me and said, your dad is so much better. He's walking. He's going to the bathroom on his own. He's breathing. He's pacing. Like, we are amazed at his progress. And I remember I was like, hmm, the doctor told me that, you know, it was going to get worse. And the nurses told me it was going to get worse. And this was just proof that circumstances don't matter. It doesn't matter. Never take what you are told as a fact because you are the one that decides at the end of the day, what meaning am I going to give this? You are the creator of, re creator of your reality. So um, I also shared this story because if any one of you is going through this or you guys have parents going through this, I think it's important for you to hear my story and like if it helps you apply it, right? Um, but that's why I say you guys try it for yourself because even if you know this, even if you have a thousand people telling you that this works, you will not be convinced until you keep seeing evidence of it in your reality. So whatever I shared in this video and any of my other videos, I intend that it helps you guys. I intend that it makes a difference in your life. I intend that every single one of you viewing my videos are financially abundant, have the love loves of your life. You guys have your SPs coming in the way you want them to. You guys have a beautiful, committed relationship. I intend everyone in your reality is healthy, happy, and whole, and I intend you guys are whole as well. And I'm sorry if um, my story went into like different topics, but I don't script anything. Like I just let the downloads come to me and I share them with you and it's been working so far because I read your guys' comments and I see that everyone's like, oh my god, this is what I was thinking and you talked about it in your video. So obviously we're all resonating. I'm you guys pushed out, you guys are me pushed out, right? So I will stop talking. I will let you guys get to work and start intending, affirming, envisioning yourself as a winner, envisioning yourself as abundant, envisioning yourself as healthy, envisioning yourself as married to your beautiful SPs. Um, and if you guys are interested in any of my courses, there is a promotion going on right now. There are bundle packs that are much um, cheaper than if you were to buy them separately. And a lot of my clients are purchasing my courses and sessions with me for their loved ones, for their daughters, sons, um, SPs. Well, wait, maybe not SPs because they're manifesting SPs, but no, some of them are actually. Um, but if you guys want to give them as a gift, it's a beautiful idea. And, um, we still have that contest going on, you guys, for three free coaching sessions of your choice with coach of your choice. All you guys got to do is comment down below, su subscribe to our channel, and you are um, entered for a chance to win three coaching sessions with the coach of your choice. Um, you guys also, I say this in almost every of my video, every one of my videos, but if you go to purchase a course, um, you go to our website. A link is going to be in the description box down below under courses and then if you want to purchase any of my courses you would just go to courses La <laughs> what am i saying i'm like thinking ten thousand things you go to um courses you go to ani's courses and all the des descriptions all the courses are there if you guys have any trouble um purchasing anything or you guys have any questions please um email us at session dot create your future i think it's right all the information is in the um bottom bar you guys so don't take my word for it check in the bottom bar check in the description box i love each and every one of you guys um i will see you in my next video and you guys keep sending in those success stories. I love reading them. I love seeing them in the comments. I love reading your guys' comments. So positive. Um, and your your comments are helping. Your comments, your success stories are helping other people. Um, and they're motivating them too. So I love all of you. And I will see you in the next video.